what are the options for progressives in responding to the Citizens United Supreme Court ruling? Well, number one, progressives should uh, condemn this court. This court has overreached. They're arrogant, and they've thrown out 100 years worth of, uh, worth of legislation that has limited the role of corporate money in politics. Uh, number two, they should advocate for progressive and bold solutions right now. Uh, the, the, the problem that the Supreme Court created uh, just basically made a bad situation worse. Members of Congress are going to have to spend more time raising money than ever before, and we need to, need to deal with that problem. So we're urging progressives and others to get on board the Fair Elections Now Act, uh, which will allow candidates to run for office without relying on Wall Street money or PAC money or contributions from lobbyists. That's a basically public financing of elections? It's, a, it's for public financing of elections, um, but it's really citizen-driven. So candidates raise a large number of small contributions from people they seek to represent in their home state, uh, and that uh, the money that candidates receive from a fair elections fund is all driven by how many citizens they get engaged in their campaign, not how many uh, fundraisers they can throw here in D.C. And what's the uh, prognosis for that legislation right now? Well, right now we're working very hard to be uh, to put it as part of the agenda. Uh, we know that Congress wants to act very quickly on this, and we think it's important that uh, members of Congress have something that's the boldest and most aggressive kind of solution to run on uh, when they you know, go back to their districts or to talk about when they go back to their districts with voters. Uh, is there or, or is there something that activists is there a website or something that activists can go to right now if they want to? learn more and to show their support? Absolutely. There's a website called fairelectionsnow.org. Uh, activists can go there and sign a petition to call on Congress to do this, uh, and they can find out a whole lot more about the legislation and about who's on the bill already. One final question. Uh, there's a lot of discussion of a constitutional amendment. What, what's your, what are your thoughts on the possibility of that? Well, I think this, uh, this decision by the court has kind of let the corporate genie out of the bottle, and I'm not sure we can get it back in. Um, so I think at some point we're going to you know, have to address the, the, the need of a constitutional amendment. Uh, I think it's a long-term process. It always has been. It's a difficult process, but I don't think the court, uh, until, uh, you know, unless we change the composition of the court, I don't think uh, there's any other option uh, uh, to pursue in the long term than to uh, provide uh, uh, for an additional constitutional amendment. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks.